Hello, this is a tutorial on how to use my new mod, Inventory Organizer. The main purpose of this mod is to allow you to save up to five different inventory configurations and reload them at any time. This mod is very powerful, but also kind of complicated. Also remember that this video is being made upon the initial release of this mod, so some information may not be accurate. I will be keeping a detailed change log on the Steam Workshop page for this mod, so you can reference any changes there. This mod has two key bindings. The cycle button defaults to B and the save load button defaults to N. These can be reconfigured in the mod settings. First, I will show you how to create an inventory configuration. Simply organize your inventory however you like, then hold down the save load button to save your configuration. Currently, it will not save what is in your hand or head slot, but I can add that if enough people want it. These inventory configurations should work with modded items as well as vanilla items. To load the configuration, just press and release the save load button. These configurations work with all backpack types or even no backpack at all. I would not recommend changing your inventory while loading a config as it can cause the mod to put things in the wrong place. One thing to note about loading is that the mod will never take items from your hand or head. However, if enough people think this is worth doing, I will consider it. You can have up to five inventory configurations saved at once. Although if enough people request it, I can easily increase this limit. To switch which config gets saved or loaded, simply press and release the cycle button. But what if you have an inventory slot where you want the mod to choose from a variety of items when loading the inventory configuration? For example, what if you wanted the first three slots in your inventory to be filled with whatever tools you happen to have in your inventory? Well, for that, you need to use groups. Start by holding down the cycle button to switch into group mode. To set up a group, First, you need to pick a group label. A group label is an item that you will use in the inventory configuration to tell the mod that you are referencing a group rather than the item itself. This will make more sense later. For now, just pick an item that you won't be using in your inventory configurations. Next, put the group label into the first slot in your inventory. Next, put all the items that you want to be in the group into your inventory and or backpack. The item used for a group label is not actually in the group itself. Also, when creating a group, you can use any type of backpack or none at all. Next, hold down the save load button to save your group. You have now created a group, but you still need to use it. First, you need to press and hold the cycle button to go back into inventory mode. Once in inventory mode, organize your inventory how you want. To use a group in your inventory configuration, simply put the group label into whatever slot or slots you want to use the group. Then press and hold the save load button and the inventory config will save. Now, when you load the inventory configuration, the mod will use the group. Groups are not just a list of items, but an ordered list of items. So when the mod goes to put an item into a slot that used a group, the mod will search your inventory for the first item in the group, then the second item in the group, and so on. First item in the group that the mod finds will be the one that goes into the slot. Here's the priority order for group items when your backpack is in separated mode. Here's the priority order for when your backpack is in integrated mode. You have up to five different group slots, although if enough people request it, I can easily increase this limit as well. If you need to create a larger group, you can actually combine different groups together. You can combine up to all five groups if you want to. To combine different groups together, just create independent groups with the same label. Then whenever you use that label, the mod will treat the multiple groups as one. Item priorities work like this. All the items in the smallest numbered group have their normal priorities. Those those are followed by all the items in the next highest numbered group which have their normal priorities, and so on. One last thing to note is how the mod saves. Your inventory configurations are saved to disk whenever you create them. The save data for these inventory configurations also contains any groups they use. This means that your inventory configs will work across servers even if they contain groups. This also means that the group slots themselves are never saved because the inventory configurations handle that. So after you are done using a group in your inventory configurations, feel free to overwrite the group as it will get destroyed anyways. This can be useful if you are done using a group and decide you want to use the same group label for a different configuration or a different group.